want the best controller customizations around, then head over to Angel Grips, use my code Goon, it will get you 5% off. What's up guys, Goon is here bringing you a Legend player review, and today we are reviewing the Irish legend Roy Keane. There's a quick look at the squad that I played him in, and remember 200 likes would be amazing, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So as we take a look at him, what you'll see is that he's 5 foot 11, medium attacking, high defensive work rate, right footed, freestyle weak foot and only 2 star skills, cost me his maximum 3 million and he starts at 1.5, 9 games, 4 goals and 1 assist is what he brought to the table. And you can also see his claim to fame there as well on the clubs that he's played for. So looking at the in-game stats, what you'll see is there's lots of dark green, 89 strength is absolutely amazing, 89 interceptions, 95 aggression as well, reactions, look at that, all green. The only thing that's disappointing is the acceleration at 69, skill attributes again more of the same, look at that passing, tackling, all in the dark green as well, that is what you want. You can see that it's more based towards physical in terms of the hex gun as well and the passing and the defending side of things. Can play as a centre mid or as a CDM, weighs 167 pounds as well. And in terms of how stacked he is, he isn't very stacked at all. A tactician speciality and the injury prone trait. So my expectations of this card? Well, when we all saw the card face stats on this legend at the beginning when they announced the new legends, I thought this guy could be an amazing CDM. The rest of the stats were, to be fair, pretty disappointing because there wasn't anything else that really stood out. It was more to do with the defensive side of things and the physical side of things as well. So what are you going to get from this guy? Well, you're going to get yourself a fantastic defensive-minded centre mid and also someone who can do a fantastic job in the centre mid position as well as a CDM position. I had him in the centre mid position just because I wanted to see what he was capable of going forwards as well, knowing that he could shore things up as a CDM and win the ball back for you. So he's fantastic at tackling, he's super strong as well so he can hand out the punishment rather than getting bullied himself which is fantastic as well. Passing is absolutely amazing so he can set up you know, the play from where you want to from the middle as well and he's got a decent shot on him as well even though his stats doesn't say, I mean his finishing isn't great but his long shots are pretty good, I think they're in the 80s. So every now and then you'll get a long shot like this one that will just beat the keeper and give him no chance. Every now and then though he will let you down a little bit with that low finishing. But he's got fantastic passing, look at that assist as well to bring the other guy into play and get the goal. Just took all the defenders out of the way. Strong so he can hold the ball up as well which is what you want. It's only two star skills which is a bit of a pain. So you have to be very sort of robotic or rigid with what you do when you've got the ball with this guy. Because he just doesn't have the dribbling ability and the skills to beat defenders the normal way that you'd want to do. However, you know, you're going to be playing him as a CDM if you've got him in your team pretty much and that's where he does stand out. Is he better than Vieira? No, unfortunately. Vieira is absolutely immense as a CDM. He is the best CDM by far in the game. There isn't anyone that comes close. I guess if you wanted to waste Hullet, he would be a fantastic CDM as well. But Keane is right up there as well. I mean, I had him next to Effenberg who does a fantastic job at CDM, but this guy's better at CDM than him. Is he worth the coins? I would wait for his price to come down because he's new, he's overpriced at the moment, but his price will drop, then go pick him up. So let's figure out what I thought about him. He's super strong, his tackling interception is absolutely amazing, and he's got fantastic range of passing on him as well. Long shots are decent, and his ball control is right up there as well. The things I don't like about him is he's only got two star skills, and he lacks pace as well. But overall, fantastic midfielder. I'd give him a 9 out of 10. He is fantastic to use and just wait for his price to drop a little bit. So that's your review guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.